Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming in to our show today. It's going to be a great show. Uh, hey, Andy. Hi. Hey, Debbie. How are you doing? Oh, doing good. How are you doing? Stressed. So I'm so are glad you? that Shannon Parsons is with us today. Hi, Shannon. How are you? Hi, Debbie. Hi, Andy. I'm doing really well. Thank you. Hey, Shannon. Oh, great. Um, Shannon, we're so excited that you're here. Um, Shannon, um, we've been telling you guys for a long time now, she's a transformational life coach, and she's here today to talk about all these different things that she knows how to do to help us. And so we're really excited that you're here. Um, so first, I want to see what's new. Andy, anything new with you? Well, actually, I'm not going to name any names, but I had a potential client that I think turned into, um, well, definitely a friendship and possibly like a mentorship. So, wow. and it, it was amazing. I had this experience earlier tonight, um, professional hypnotist and was able to watch me give me some feedback in my readings. And also it gave me clarity in what I was missing. There was things and it worked. Um, oh, wow. So it was kind of like, I don't know. It was, it, it, it was just um, eye opening, I guess. So that's kind of awesome. my highlight. Um, and it just happened. So I don't know. I feel um, pretty energized and, confident so that's a good oh, thing to good. feel yeah. yeah how about you debbie well let's go opposite to that it was a very stressful day for me i worked mm. all day and then i have you know you get the phone calls from people that are in crisis and um need a lot of help and today it was one after another after another after another after another after another that many and i uh, i was like putting people on hold and everything. And um, so, you know, and then I had to get ready for the show. So that's why I'm so glad Shannon's here because um, I have been with Shannon to some of uh, the therapy sessions that she's had and um, or coaching sessions, I should say. And, um, and really get a lot out of uh, this one particular thing that she'll talk about and helping to bring anxiety down. And I go with family member and um, it's just really eye opening. But I want to show you something, Shannon. So we have to go. I really like this thing I found years, decades ago called EFT. Now, you guys might remember what these are. <laughs> <laughs> are those VHS tapes? Yep, there are VHS oh tapes on, yeah, I on, have them. on EFT. And um, so I got an introduction, but I didn't really stay with it, which I really wish I would have for all those years until I met up with Shannon and then I got back into it. And, um, and so, Shannon, I hope you're ready to talk a little bit about um, – what you do and we want to know about you this is so important to be able to um to calm down and to be able to have a little bit more control over our life and our emotions so i'm going to just uh, be asking you questions and andy is and i want to say carlos is in the house because i see right. him Hi, Hi, carlos. Yeah, so we... please um go ahead Oh, sorry. Um, I just wanted to do a shout out to the people saying hi. Um, oh, we have sure. Wendy. So Wendy joins us. Look at uh, her we face. Recently, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Um, she was a tiger, I think, uh, last time, right? Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. Grizel, welcome. Hey, Carlos. He says hi to you, Shannon. And we have Grizel. Woo. Oh, um, <laughs> Your wall clock. That's my new addition. I said uh, to Neil, I said, this is when I'm, you know, um, broadcasting from this room. I said, this is a blank wall. And I we have over probably 200 clocks. Yes, and, you do. Yeah. And so I said, would you put 
one of the ones that you have in storage up. And so he did that today. So oh. yeah, we've got lots. Hey, Vicki McDonald's here and she's a very gifted medium and our good friend. Thanks Vicki for being here. Awesome. Anyone else? Nope. That looks oh, like they'll be coming in for yeah. sure. Oh, wow. That's really great. So, um, Shannon, well, Andy and I will be asking you questions, but you, the viewers, please go ahead. If you have any questions for Shannon, please just uh, post them and we'll ask her for you. Okay. Yes. Please so ask Shannon. lots of questions. I geek out being able to talk about this stuff. Ah, well, can you tell us a little bit about what you do and some of the, the uh, methods that you know? Yes. So a little bit about what I do is I am a transformational life coach and I work with people for personal and professional development. And I also get to work with kids and teens, which I absolutely love. It's because of my own son that I started this journey into EFT, which stands for emotional freedom techniques. And it was one of those things where out of this horrible situation, I learned a beautiful modality that I can now use and work with other people to help them overcome really debilitating feelings of not being good enough, not feeling safe, not feeling loved, any kind of pattern that keeps us stuck from moving forward in our lives so much of the time we know what we need to be doing or could be doing in order to move forward personally or professionally, but something keeps us stuck and we don't necessarily know what that something is. But with EFT, we can dig around, find the roots of it, pull it out and plant some new self-affirming beliefs that actually feel good in our body. Oh my goodness. Doesn't that sound great? And I think okay. everybody needs that. To me, it was... You know, some people may go to yoga and some people do different things. In my life, I had hypnosis that was absolutely fantastic. That was mm. that was change, life changing for me. And then the next thing I stepped into was EFT. And um, and I know my family mem member just loves it and would just want to go all the time. So it's so important now. You know, when I was young, and I'm a lot older than you guys, life was really slow and boring. It was very slow. And now it's unbelievable with technology and with the high pressure jobs of how much gets put on you. Not to say even to, you know, life and family and relationships and money and all this stuff. Um, you know, it just keeps building up. And so um, we need to kind of come down and we need to learn that because stress is accumulative, I believe, Shannon. And I know that I, I'm a very strong person, extremely, and I'm proud of being that way. So I've, I went along for years handling things, handling things, handling things. And I feel like physically it, had, it, it went for my neck and my shoulders. Mm -hmm. And I carried it. I really you know, literally carried yeah. that stress on until it was too much. And then that's when I went through hypnosis. So we need to, to, to be able to what on a daily basis, I guess, work to make sure that we don't carry that anxiety. Well, that would be ideal. If we could clear it for ourselves every day, then we don't need to carry that. And the truth is our bodies know how to heal and release all of this baggage. We just forgot somewhere along the way and thought that we needed something outside of us in order to be able to le release these pressures. But with something like EFT, it's so easy and so effective. You could actually use it on a daily basis to help let go of that, that daily stress. And then the cool part about it is as you practice letting go, you're building your resiliency. So then the things don't seem to bother you as much. And so you get this emotional strength that you didn't even know you had within you. Oh, Okay, I'm all about that. <laughs> That's going to be great. Yes. yes. Which, which I want to say, um, Shannon, it brings us into a question from Grizel. Mm -hmm. And she's wanting to know, okay, she, she has a problem trusting anyone. Uh, any advice uh, for her? Well, having knowing that you have a problem not trusting somebody is really great because the first piece for any kind of personal growth is awareness. 
So being able to know that you have this problem trusting anybody, we can now start to dig around and say, okay, how long has this been a challenge or an issue or a problem for you? And we can start to trace it back to those younger years. And really what happens is a lot of this stuff that's coming up for us is just a mistaken belief that we created in childhood. So something probably happened where somebody said something or did something that made you go, oh, I can't trust anyone because maybe they hurt me or hurt my feelings or even physically. So we can go back and find what that root cause was and actually bring relief to that younger self hmm. by something as easy as tapping. And what happens is when you start to tap and you start to let go of this old past trauma, you, like I said, you build that emotional resiliency and then you just find yourself starting to trust more, starting to trust yourself to be able to trust other people more. So just really about finding that, that core issue that you made probably a belief when you were a little kid and your view of the world was like this, it was very mm -hmm. small. And unfortunately our little child brains don't have a big clear picture of the world. Sometimes our adult brains don't either. Uh, but just having awareness of it is a huge first step. Oh, Perfect. thank you so much. You. Brazil, that was a great answer for you. Um, I wanted to ask Shannon, I know that, can you talk a little bit about the pressure points or mm -hmm. how does how does EFT work or the science of it? Mm -hmm. So EFT, again, stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques. And it's based on the Chinese acupuncture system. And it's this idea that we have energy meridians that run through our body from the tops of our heads, down to our fingertips, down to our toes. And each energy meridian would be, if you could see it in the body, it would look like little freeways going here, there, and everywhere. And along these energetic freeways, we have acupoints. And these would be the equivalent of an on-ramp or an off-ramp for the freeway. If you're getting acupuncture, this is where the acupuncturists insert the needle. Fortunately for us, when we use EFT, we actually can use pressure or tapping to stimulate those points. And the tapping is like the equivalent of a traffic cop telling these energetic blockages, move along, nothing to see here, everything's okay. So what happens is in our life when we are little kids and we experience something out in the world that's scary or we don't know how to deal with it, we go, <gasps> and it creates this blockage in our energy system. So the tapping is just saying, move along, nothing to see here. And the cool thing is it doesn't matter how long that energy blockage has been there. It doesn't matter if you had this belief system for your entire life or if it happened yesterday, you can start to let it go with EFT. And so what it does is uh, we'll just use the, the wrist point. So I, I like to use the wrist points, not everybody does. Um, but as we're tapping, we're actually sending a vibrational pulse through these energetic meridians straight to the amygdala. And that's the part of our brain that controls that fight or flight, fight or flight response. So it's basically just sending a signal straight to that part of the brain that says, calm down. I'm not about to be eaten by a tiger. I'm just feeling stress. I'm just feeling anxiety. I'm just feeling overwhelmed or sad, whatever it is. And the amygdala has one job. And that's to keep us safe. That's to keep us alive. And as soon as the amygdala figures out, oh, you're not about to die, there's no tiger, then the nervous system calms down. All of a sudden, blood flow goes back to the part of the brain that can reason and make sense of situations. And then you can start to look for a solution and move through whatever challenge or obstacle or belief system you're, you're you challenged know, with. You know, so... Um it sounds like that would be really good for people that have uh, phobias or what is it called when you get really scared? Um, you have panic attacks. Mm -hmm. So that sounds like it'd be perfect for that. You have to calm that down. Mm -hmm. I've had a panic attack before and that's why I got hypnosis. Okay. And, um, and it was to learn how to control so that wouldn't happen. And it, and that worked for me. Mm -hmm. So it seems like this would be really what's needed. So um, I wrote just a couple of things down because I the when you start talking about those meridians and the way that energy flows, I just remembered that I watched that Charlie on the healer and how he says 
the same thing about the the uh, flow of the energy around the body. And that has to be the big thing for healing. Now, um, what do you think? To, can you take care of somebody who's like really afraid of spiders or something like that? Uh, are you asking if I can help them? Yeah. Not, not have a fear? Yeah. So the idea with EFT is try it on everything. And the reason is our emotions are meant to be felt and move through us. The word emotion means energy in motion. So if somebody has a phobia, it's some kind of belief system. It's something that they're holding on to. So in my experience, what I found is that when we focus on what that scary thing is while using the tapping modality, we can actually rewrite a lot of fears, phobias, and beliefs. And this is funny too, Debbie, because it can work with family curses. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right? When you tell, look at, you know, more. psychic <laughs> fixes, a, a curse is part of your belief system. Mm -hmm. And it's something that can be passed down through the generations. So I've actually worked with people who have family curses and been able to shift that belief system. And when you believe that it's not applicable to you anymore, things stop happening. Those bad things stop happening. So we can have a lot of fun. Like I said, try it on everything on a very surface level. It's a really good coping skill. It is the best coping skill I've ever found. And then when I work with clients one-on-one, -on -one, we use it to really do some deep dives and pull out the roots of whatever this challenge is. So, so what do you think of what age is okay to start tapping down? You serve small children that do this? Yeah, you can use it on little babies. You can teach it to small children. I do a lot of work with teenagers. Thank you, Sonia. I actually volunteer at a continuation high school here in my town. And I teach uh, this technique to the teens there. At first, they think it's a little weird. And I, I ask them, how many of you are thinking, if this was so easy, how come everybody's not doing it? Everybody raises their hand, including the teachers. And then sure enough, the next week I'll come back to the school and, and girls will run up to me. Oh my gosh, you saved my life. I used it when I was having a panic attack and I was able to calm down. Or some of the guys will come up to me, teenage boys will say, I tried it and it worked and I taught my mom how to do it. So they're feeling so good having a tool that they can teach to their mothers or to their girlfriends. Um, so I do a lot of work with teens, like I said, and I think my oldest client I had was 88. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Andy, was there any other um, questions going? Yeah. Um, Carlos had said anxiety and depression mm -hmm. for him. Yeah. yeah. So I have to be clear that I don't treat any kind of anxiety or depression or any diagnosed um, issue. But um, what we can do with EFT is use it as a modality to help calm that nervous system, like we said. So if anxiety or the feeling of anxiety, the feeling of depression is coming up, this is a really wonderful coping skill. And you can use it in conjunction with whatever you're already doing. So if you're already seeing a therapist or a psychotherapist or an energy healer, uh, or you're doing Reiki, they all blend so beautifully together. So you don't have to give up one in order to have the benefits of the other. Oh, Perfect. It is similar to EMDR. In fact, uh, Grizel just asked that. Um, EMDR and EFT are my two most favorite modalities. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't use EMDR. I don't use it on my clients, but it's the other one that I that I would promote. Yeah, EMDR. I happen to to know a little bit about because um, of a friend that's uh, that actually does that, mm -hmm. and um, I know that it's she does it for PTSD for veterans, military people. So interesting. Oh, hi, Bree. How are you? Um, she says I want to do this on my daughter who is two this Friday. She is always crying and can't sleep alone. Maybe that can help her, Shannon? Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. You can try using it with your daughter, especially when she's sleeping or getting ready for bed. It's going to do two different things. One, it's going to help her feel better because it will help soothe her nervous system. Two, it's going to help you feel better because you'll be doing something that you know is helping your daughter. And there's nothing better as a mom to feel like you've got this handled, like you have this superpower. And then three, it's going to create this beautiful bonding moment where you guys are having this, this time together at bedtime. And it'll be something that both of you end up cherishing. 
So I'm a huge proponent of people doing this before bed, especially parents with their kids. That's awesome. Well, it sounds like it would also help people with sleep sleep problems too. Yes. To get to sleep maybe. So oh, Andy, a- Andy's doing it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're that's using it me. Uh, yeah, I um it, it, it's a I don't know. It's strange because after I I like getting up early and then um but lately it's been like naps in the afternoon because I'm just like exhausted and it's not really maybe I need to be more physical but I'll get up at like two in the morning and then I'll be up and I'm like do I go back to sleep should I you know what I mean so um, it's been going on like that for a few months okay so are you using EFT or if you're wondering if it can help with that? yeah I was wondering okay. if it would help with that so this is kind of a fun um, uh, statistic, I guess. So when you look at EFT, sometimes it's hard to say, okay, well, is it working? How do you know? Because we're dealing with emotions and it's, it's hard to really gauge, but I did have a client who had insomnia. So out of 10 nights, she wasn't sleeping for 10 nights. So we started doing the EFT. I had her do it every night before bed, very simple protocol, which I can walk you all through. And at the end of six weeks, she was sleeping seven nights out of 10. So I love, I love that story because it it helps gauge something that feels intangible into something that's like, okay, we know seven out of 10 is progress. Okay. Oh, awesome. Thank you. One of the things we have to do tonight is probably do one for sleep, you know, tap through for that. Mm-hmm. And and um, Holly looks like she look at she's got the little emoticon of the hand. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I think that's uh, pretty normal nowadays that people have so much going on and they're going to bed with so much they're thinking about the next day and on and on. So I do once in a while wake up about four, and I'm mm. like, is it worth getting up? Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll go back to sleep. Uh, sometimes I don't. So um, I didn't know you were getting up at two. I could see if it was like the witching hour at three. <laughs> at three, three, three. <laughs> oh, hey, that's wow. a good number. There you oh. go. Look at Holly. Holly must do the tapping then. Yeah. That's great. That's wonderful to know about that. I'm I'm so excited and i think that we can we should demonstrate it but we have to take a sponsor break here we're getting better at remembering now um, oh yeah today our our sponsor is checkered lily apothecary and i have to tell you i did just have a birthday and thank you for the birthday mm-hmm. wishes you guys mm-hmm. um but kim boshu uh the pro- proprietor of the shop she actually made me some jewelry she sent me a box i happen to have it here so she sent me this really cute little box with all these little things in it she sent me some um automatic writing you can go on her etsy shop automatic writing it's a nice uh bronzy glittery glitter eyeshadow and there she is there's kim and she just she made me the best um uh, necklace so i have a charm and Andy has the pictures for it, so it'll go up. But there's a, a long charm uh, necklace and a um, crystal ball and uh, tarot cards and a smiley moon and stars and lots of stars. So she made that for me. And that was really a surprise, along with she made some earrings. And they are um, palm reading uh earrings where let's see if i can get them up but andy's gonna put the picture up for you guys it is on uh psychic fixes so a right and a left hand and on one side they have the numbers and then they're full of purple stars so i wore those today 
And they were fun. That was a lot of fun. But how sweet of her to do that. So a little background on Kim is that she started out and she went to college for jewelry making. And then she got a passion for cooking. So she is actually a professional trained uh, uh, chef. And she loves to do pastry a, a lot. And then she got into making makeup. And so she loves it. Her Etsy shop, Checkered Lily Apothecary, is on Etsy. And there's the link. And there's the earrings. Um, I can see cute. one hand. Yeah, they're really, really neat. And um, and the pumpkin cake. <laughs> okay, there is the charm necklace. So that was really, really cool. And she did put something important on that charm. And it was a medallion that says Good Witch. I never call myself a witch. I'm just Wiccan trained, but I thought that was good. I like that. So Andy, come back to us. Thank you, Andy. And um, Shannon, I thought it'd be really good um, if you're willing to kind mm -hmm. of show us a little bit about how to tap. And I think that we should go ahead and do it for sleep since there are a couple people that are saying that that is an issue that they have. Okay. And, and we'd love to have you coach us through that. Absolutely. Um, so what I'll do is I'll teach everybody just very briefly, very quickly, the, the standard protocol. Um, and then, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So the thing about EFT that makes it very different from a lot of other modalities is you focus on the negative and it's, it, it goes against everything that we usually hear about affirmations and, oh, just focus on the positive and look on the bright side. Well, when we use EFT, we're actually trying to bring the dirt to the surface. So if you're going to clean your house, you have to be able to see the dirt so you can get it out. If you have a gash on your arm, you're not just going to put a beautiful Band-Aid on it and leave all that dirt in there. You have to be able to see the dirt so you can clean it out. And that's what we're doing with EFT. So um, first, I'll just go through and show everybody the points, and then I'll kind of walk us all through it. So the very first point is actually on the side of the hand. It's a nice little squishy part right here. And you can just tap there with a couple finger points. Some people like to do it like this. As a recovering perfectionist, I love EFT because you don't have to do it perfectly to get the results. So just tapping lightly on the side of your hand. And when we use this point, this is where we just make friends and acknowledge whatever we're going through. And in this case, it would just be, I can't sleep, you know, or I'm not sure what we can say on this show, but you might be really frustrated. You might say, I can't effing sleep, whatever it is. You just, you own it. You get to, you get yeah. to feel what you're feeling. We, we have done that. We have used words. <laughs> I've heard them. Okay, I, I will try. I am a huge proponent of bad words, but I'm going to try to be really good here for anybody who's watching. Um, and, and the reason I'm a proponent of bad words, again, is because a lot of times we're not allowed to say them because they're bad or whatever. And, and so I tell people, if you can think it, it's living inside of you. And it's that dirt. Just get it up, get it out. It's like a poison. Just get it out of you. Um, so after we make friends with it on the side of the hand point, then we go to the top of the head. If you've watched EFT videos, some people start right here. It's fine, you can start wherever you want. I like to start at the top of the head because I do a lot of energy work and I like to imagine energy starting at the top of my head. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna teach you the way I do it. Again, there's not gonna be a wrong way. Um, and there's so many points at the top of the head so you can just be tapping with a flat hand. You can do a little claw if you want, whatever is comfortable for you. And then the next points are actually right inside the eyebrows. And there's one on each side. You can do one side, you can do the other, you can do both at the same time. You can rub them like Andy's doing. There's also a third eye point right here. So I just use three fingers because I'm like, come on, inner wisdom. <laughs> so three fingers right there is what I prefer. And then the next points are on the outsides of the eyes. And again, it does not matter which side you use, just gently tapping right along the outside. You can do one, you can do both, you can switch whatever is comfortable for you. And it's really gentle tapping, no need to poke our eyes out. Okay, and then the next yeah. one, <laughs> next one is right That's under really. the eye, right? I try to make it funny because personal and professional development is so hard. Life is so hard, we need to make it funny, right? Yeah. Not take ourselves so seriously all the time. So right under the eye, and then right under the nose, 
you can do one finger, you can do a couple, whatever is comfortable for you. And then right in the crease of the chin. The next point is right down from the collarbones. You've got these little bony things right here, just about an inch down. Again, you can do one side, you can do the other. You can do, I'm gonna move my mic here, you can do a flat hand. You can do the gorilla and do thumping if you want. Um, these points across the top of the chest are my favorite because they are associated with stress and anxiety. So if there's only one thing that you remember out of today's podcast is this point right here. It is my go-to point. You can teach your little kiddos to do this in their car seat, um, anywhere. This is a really good calming point right here. Shannon, um, yeah. that um, brings up a good point because I, I've realized just recently that I would do tapping with my feet mm -hmm. um, as almost like a calming. And yes. I didn't realize it until you mentioned that with here. So, yes. yeah. So again, our bodies know how to restore balance and how to, to help us. So what you were instinctively doing was trying to move that energy out of your body by tapping it out of your foot. Oh. So your body was already self-soothing. Mm -hmm. And, and as parents, if any parents are watching and you see your little kiddos doing this, allow them to get that out and recognize they're just trying to get that energy out of their bodies. And that's what that's what we need to do is like why we cry. It's why we, you know, get angry and yell. We're getting the energy out. Um, OK, so after the collarbone points, the next one is in the armpit. So it's just straight down from the armpit. Ladies, this is would be where your bra strap is. And you can use fingertips or a flat hand. Again, whatever is most comfortable. And then I like to put in the wrist points because we do have meridians that come down through our fingers. Again, if you've seen um, EFT practitioners do this online, not everybody uses the wrist points, but I love them. So you've got the outside of the wrist and the inside of the wrist. You don't have to hit all these points. You don't have to hit them in the order that I've done. But when you start to use EFT, you start to get into a rhythm that works for you. And this is the rhythm that I use starting at the top of the head and ending with the wrist points. Mm. So that is the basic, the basic start. So when we're looking at something like I can't sleep, what that would look like when you put it all together is starting at the side of the hand, you're going to say, even though I just can't sleep and just a, listen to what's coming up in your head. I'm so angry I can't sleep. I'm so frustrated I can't sleep. Allow yourself to just feel what you're feeling and why can't I sleep? This is ridiculous. Whatever's coming up, just allow yourself to feel it. You don't need to speak aloud. Just feel whatever's coming up for you. And then end it with something along the lines of, even though I'm feeling this way because I just can't sleep, I love and accept myself anyways. And so we're really just acknowledging that, hey, we're humans and we're having a feeling. It's one of the beautiful things about being alive on this planet. And then we go through the tapping points, focusing on the problem. So it would sound something like, I can't sleep. I'm so frustrated because I, I can't sleep. This is getting really ridiculous. I wake up at two o'clock in the morning <laughs> every night. And then I'm so tired that I have to take a nap in the middle of the afternoon. I don't want to do this anymore. It is really annoying. Why can't I just get a good night's sleep? And you just keep going like that, just feeling what you're feeling, thinking what you're thinking while you're tapping on the different points. And then when you feel like, oh, I don't know what else to say, then you're probably done with that round of tapping. So you take a big deep breath. And you just kind of assess, like, how am I feeling now? When I first started, um, I didn't actually tell everybody to rate themselves, but typically what you would do at the very beginning is you would say on that scale from zero to 10, with 10 being the most intense, how big of an issue is this? You know, how upset am I that I just can't sleep? And usually we start between a five and a 10. And then after we do some tapping, typically it goes down. Sometimes it goes down one point at a time. So maybe you start at an eight and then it goes down to a seven and then you do more tapping and it goes down to a six. Sometimes it goes down right away. This is why I love bad words because I was working with a client in a class and I told her, it sounds like you wanna say a bad word, what's going on? And she said, yes, I wanna drop F-bombs. 
And I said, go for it. <laughs> and she started tapping, doing all these F-bombs. And all of a sudden she went from a nine to a zero in less than a minute. Oh, and then she wow. said, I just feel better now. So it's, I, I love words. Words are so important. And uh, when you're, that's why when you're going through the tapping, just use whatever words are coming up for you. You don't have to follow a script. You don't have to know the right words because your right words are going to be completely different than mine. You, it's just about acknowledging whatever you're feeling. Um, now, sometimes um, after tapping, somebody's intensity will go up. So let's say they started at a six and then they do tapping and it goes up to a nine. Usually what's happening is they're getting closer to the truth of what's coming up. So if we're looking at grief, anger, sadness, a lot of times we'll see some uh, an intensity go up before it, it. It feels like a roller coaster where it like has that whoosh and it goes down all of a sudden. And the reason I bring that up is because if you're tapping and you're feeling like it's going up and getting worse or it's staying the same or it's only going down one little piece at a time, it's okay. You're not doing it right. wrong. Maybe you could use some help of a practitioner, but EFT is so gentle and so wonderful. You don't have to worry about doing it wrong as long as you're just really focusing on what's coming up for you. Oh my goodness. That is really good. I feel, I feel better now, but you know, I love the EFT for venting more than how I usually vent. Because <laughs> EFT is really get good loud. <laughs> And if you if you're in the middle of a feeling and and you want to do some tapping, it's the absolute best time to do it because you don't have to think about, oh, when was the last time I felt this way? You're feeling it. Skip the side of the hand and just go right for the you see my face. <laughs> <laughs> go go right yeah. for the turbo tapping and, and I'll even look in the mirror and I'll you son of a wow dear you made me feel this way and wow and i'll and look the in the bottom mirror. teeth are showing you're like i yeah. said no <laughs> Grr, yeah how dare you say this to me or put me in this situation if it's another person um but allow yourself to feel what you're feeling tap 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 because tapping plus focusing on the problem or the negative or the challenge or whatever you want to call it is going to calm your nervous system. It's going to start to clear that stuff out of your system and you're going to get results. Shannon, um, so for when we're in situations, especially the teens, in a situation where you don't want someone to see you actively tapping, how can they kind of do a little shortcut or an easier way to not get outed? Okay, I love you because you you know exactly what I what I love to talk about. Um, so the the standard protocol is what I just walked everybody through. And yes, it would be a little weird if you're sitting in public and you just got in a fight with somebody and you sit there and start tapping because people will think you're loony. <laughs> Some people don't care and they'll do it anyways. I do it in the car. But if you want to be incognito, and this is what I teach the teens, and it's it's one of my most favorite ways of using tapping, especially as we look at coming into the holiday season. You know, we've got Thanksgiving and Christmas right around the corner. And at family gatherings, things can tend to get a little bit tense, especially if someone talks about politics or religion. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys how to use the points on the on the hands. And yes, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> uh, so again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you where the points are and I'm going to teach you how to not have to worry about where the points are. Okay. Because for me, I like to know rules so I can break them. All right. So if you were to hold up your hand like this with your thumb on the top, the, the point on the thumb is, let me see if I can get closer to the camera here at the top of the, of the corner where the, where the fingernail kind of curves. Uh -huh. It's like right at your cuticle. cuticle. It's like right at the, can you see that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So right at the top there. And then on this finger, again, it's right at the top of that little corner point. Middle finger, same thing. On the ring finger, it's on the underside. Okay. And then on the pinky is actually at the top and the bottom. Okay. So now you know where the points are. I'm going to make it really simple. Just take two fingers and tap right across your cuticle. So this is really great if your hands are under the table. And if anybody's watching, try it right now. Put your hands in your lap and you don't even have to look at what you're doing. You can just tap right across your cuticle and you can feel whatever you're feeling. 
And again, this tapping is sending the signal through your meridian straight to your amygdala saying, calm down, I'm not getting eaten by a tiger. You can teach this to kids. I love it because they can do it in the pocket of their hoodie sweatshirt. Oh yeah. All right. And the other cool thing is you don't even have to tap, you can squeeze. So if you want to squeeze the side of your thumb, squeeze the side of your finger, squeeze and just squeeze and hold for a sec, squeeze and hold. And you do this while you're focusing on whatever's bothering you. So if someone's talking about something you don't like, you can sit there and listen <laughs> and clear your own stuff while they're having their moment. Okay. If you are in bed next to a partner and you don't want to tap because it creates a vibration <laughs> in the bed, use the squeezing. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. This is so frustrating. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. And you can just do the squeezing. You can do this behind your back, which is really nice. And if um, the other time I really like to use it is if somebody's telling me a story that's really emotionally charging, like if someone lost a pet and, and you're an empath, and, you know, you're one of those people that takes on other people's um, emotions because you are a healer and you want to help. This will help you be there for them without actually taking and holding on to their energy. And you can do it behind your back. You can even do it in front of you. It just looks like a fidget but it's a way of taking care of yourself so that you can be there for other people as well. Wow, Shannon. Griselle says she wants to know if you can um, tap on your on your pets. And, Absolutely. Um, How yes. do we know where to tap on a dog? Well, where's a, a part of a dog that we tap on without even thinking about it when they come to us? Mm -hmm. Right on the top of their head. So they have energy meridians just like us. Um, and they've got chest points just like us. Um, there, there are people online practitioners who specialize in working with cats and dogs and even horses. So if you're interested, just look up EFT for dogs and, and you'll find practitioners who specialize that and, and charts that show you right where the points are all the way down their tail, you know, down their spine. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I never even thought of that one. Yeah. So there you go, Andy, you have pets. Try to tap on a cat. <laughs> you know, I I probably could with Bob. He is so friendly, and um, my dog she's she's pretty good. They're they're good. I don't think they get well. I could use it when we have lightning storms and thunderstorms. Mm -hmm. oh, I've okay. I found that that would be perfect. The perfect. Um, scenario so. unless they're hiding somewhere please yeah. come to me i'm gonna <laughs> tap on you really well, then, then i mean this we could do so many podcasts about this because we could even talk about surrogate tapping where you could tap on behalf of somebody else including your pet oh. but you know what i would like to talk about is is the parenting thing for just a moment um sure. for a kiddo who's having a hard time in bed um you're very welcome thank you um for someone who has a kiddo who's having a hard time, especially at bedtime, use the finger points. You know, they can put their hand on your lap or if if they don't want to, just wherever their hand is. If you have access to it, just do the little tapping right on their fingers and just let them talk about whatever's bothering them, whatever's making them upset. Mom, I had a bad day because so-and-so was mean. And, and whatever comes up as the parent, this is the best part. All you have to do is say, what else? What else? This is the time where we can let our kids complain because we know that we're helping them move this stuff through their energy system so they can release it and then they can have a good night's sleep. And the more that you can process consciously, the more your subconscious doesn't have to work so hard at night while you're sleeping. So just allow them to talk about whatever's coming up and and have this moment with them. And this is like the best gift for me as a parent is knowing that all I had to say was, what else? And then at the very end, you can let them take a big, deep breath and you can say, I'm so glad you shared all of this with me. You're safe and I love you. You know what's so great about that, Shannon, is you have to start when they're little having them being able to tell you about their feelings, you know, mm -hmm. and and so that's a perfect thing. Bedtime's a perfect thing, time to talk and all of that. And that calms them down. That is wonderful. I definitely you have to come back on and talk about <laughs> tapping that's, you know, for someone else thing. Um, 
because uh, th I, that crossed my mind. But then I was thinking, well, I don't know how that works, but um, it, it would, would be, be the equivalent of a prayer. Oh, right. Neat. When if you okay. were to pray for somebody and, and wish them well, that's what the surrogate tapping is like. It's just wishing them peace and tranquility so that they can move through whatever challenge they're they're having. Okay. Now I've got to get with you because I got to learn how to do that. And I'll hook you up. to me, that will be wonderful, um, you know, meet up to do or, um, you know, a video for you to do or something, because oh, that yeah. would be really wonderful. We're all, you know, I am sending energy. I'm whatever. We're praying for you. Here's another avenue that can, you know, be a really great experience. Look at Holly likes it too. Wow, cool. Yay. We will learn that. Um, so this is absolutely wonderful. Do you mind like um, if we tap and we respond to you that we just do that for a couple minutes, just go through it like one time for the mm -hmm. sleep and I'll, I'll respond and, and Andy can respond after what you say. So Andy, you'll get it. This is easy. And okay. just do one for sleep. Um, do, well, I have another idea if you're, if you're oh, open okay. to it. Um, okay. What I'd like to share is, is kind of one of my best kept secrets that I use with my clients. And I'd love to just tell everybody how, okay. how to utilize it. Um, it's very similar to allowing a child to process their day after, after school. And I, I do want to say, if your kiddos don't want to talk, if you're asking them, how was your day? And they say, I don't want to talk about it. That's fine. They all, just keep doing the tapping and let them feel what they're feeling. No words necessary. Okay. Aside from that, um, every night before bed, what I encourage my clients to do, my clients and my students, is to tap about their day. So imagine that our brains are like computers. And as we go up throughout the day, we're opening up all these tabs, right? And as we open up these tabs, computers can start to slow down and bog down. So we can use tapping as the equivalent of closing out these tabs. So you would start with the very beginning of your day all the way to the end and you'll ask yourself two questions over and over. What did I do and how did I feel about it? And so you would just start right at the top of the head. You don't even need to do the side of the hand unless you want to. Um, okay, this morning when I woke up, my alarm went off and I was like, oh, I, I didn't want to get up today because I was just so tired because last night I was at an event and stayed up way too late. But I got out of bed and um, I put my feet on the floor and I walked downstairs. And then I was so grateful because I got to make a cup of coffee. I love coffee. Thank goodness there was enough creamer because otherwise that would have just ruined everything. Um, you know, I found the perfect outfit and that was a relief because I don't always find the perfect outfit or darn it. The clothes I wanted were in the washing machine. So I had to come up with something else and I hated my outfit today, whatever it is. Um, uh, let's see what would happen next. Oh, I drove to work and believe it or not, there was no traffic. First time in history, I actually got to work early. Yay me. And you just go through your day. You know, what happened at work and how did you feel about it? What happened at lunchtime? How did you feel about it? What happened next? How did you feel about it? All the way and you just keep going all the way until you get to the end of the night. Um, then the kids ask me what's for dinner. My worst question of the day. But I actually had just gone to Costco and I bought one of those pre-cooked chickens. So crisis averted. <laughs> I mean, you just go through and you just allow yourself to process your day. So answering the questions, what happened and how did I feel about it? And as you do that, you allow your conscious mind to close down the day. And now your subconscious mind goes, hey, there's nothing left for me. I guess I'll go to sleep. Oh, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Thank you. Uh, I love it. It's, it's that, that simple technique is what I had my client doing, my insomniac client. Um, that got her such good results because you can do this on your own. I don't need to be there with you. You don't need help. You're just reminding your body. It's okay to feel what I'm feeling. It's okay to think what I'm thinking. And now I'm ready to let it go whenever I'm ready. But it's such a blessing to, um, you know, 
have time with you. I know for me that um, I don't do it consistently. So it's nice to have some of us want somebody in front of us to coach us through it um, and give us some, you know, guide us that way. And especially to remember, because I'd probably be doing this. <laughs> you know? And uh, you know, but it that is really good. And you are available, aren't you? You mm -hmm. have a business. Can you tell us a little bit about your business? Or we do have links, I think, Andy, to get a hold of Link Shannon. Yep, right? We sure do. Yeah. Okay. So I do have a coaching up. practice. And it's actually online. So I see all my clients on Zoom, which is wonderful. I can see people all over. I'm in California and I have clients in Canada and New York. And it's just like we're right here. And so on the one hand, EFT, I can teach it to you. You can use it as a coping skill. But when I work with somebody one on one, it's really to go back and look at the root of why stress is being triggered at such an intensity or all these other feelings um, that don't feel good, sadness, grief, all those things we just want to be able to work through. Uh, so I do work with people personally. Sometimes people know what it is. Um, and then I work with people professionally. So if somebody says, hey, I'm the one that keeps getting passed over for a job promotion, or why can't I just do this? How come whenever I'm in the office, nobody hears my opinion? It's like I'm invisible. Whatever it is, we can address it. And tapping is just one of the modalities that I use. I call it my gateway modality because it's so fun and easy to get started. And um, thank you. My my website is shannonparsons.com. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram at Shannon Parsons Coaching. And if anybody has any questions, I love to talk about this. I could talk about it all day. I geek out about it because the body and the mind and the spirit are so wonderfully delicious to me. I love being able to talk about it. And um, on my website, there's a link if you want to schedule a free consultation with me and we'll just chat, chat about where you're at, where you want to go, if I'm a good fit for you. And um, yeah, I'd love to, to chat with any of your listeners. Oh, gosh, that's great. And I can attest to how wonderful she is. Um, our group sessions are all confidential. And but so uplifting and people really get a lot out of it and um, really calm down. A lot of people come, you know, I'm sure come to you that are already heightened and angry or something. It can mm -hmm. happen really fast, especially if you're driving in traffic. I mean, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Don't you? I yell at people. People laugh because I'm like <laughs> a comedian in the car. I yell at people and I tell I tell them funny jokes and I yell at them as I'm driving. So um, yeah, that I need to tap that down. I'm sure. But well, and Shannon, here's the cool thing. So, so I'm I'm also a word nerd, and because words hold so much vibrational energy within them. So if I hear somebody say a word like I need to or I should, then I invite you to replace that with I could. Because oh, we always have a choice. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to feel better. If we want to be mad, we can be mad. But when you're ready, then you can say, all right, I choose to do this now. I choose to let this go now. Shannon, oh, I, like, man. I like the idea of um, with, with the tapping, um, with the acknowledgement, like you're acknowledging the problem and instead of, you know, how we maybe we naturally stuff everything down. I know I do, you know, with my stuff, mm -hmm. um, but acknowledging it and then letting it go and, you know, along with your methods. So yeah. EFT. Well, That's thank you. Wonderful. I'm really interested in hearing how it works for you after you start using it and, and feeling the right. calm that take over your body and the clarity that comes to your mind. Well, that's easy, easily done with the scheduling to be on the show again. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, yeah, because like Holly and I, we want to know about that surrogate tapping. I'm just mm -hmm. like that just piqued my in interest really well. Shannon, thank you so much. This is so uh, needed. And um, everybody needs to have something that they can use and and a person there too, once in a while, 
do go ahead and contact Shannon just to talk and do that free consultation that she's reached out with. That's really great. And we just, Shannon, I'm so glad that you were here. This is like so wonderful. And I thank you for being a dear friend. And, um, and really, you've done a lot for my family member and me. And so I just really appreciate that. It's just well, a wonderful thing that we get to actually be in person with I you. I know, it's and wonderful. I love that. But we're going to kind of change things now since we only have a few minutes. Let's talk about Friday. I don't think uh, we had a guest for Friday, um, right, Andy? But right. I thought, do you guys want to do protection? We can go through protective magic, and I can go ahead and tell you uh some of the things that you can do and we'll just use my my book and we'll okay. talk about some of the things you can do to protect yourself you know from the um energy vampires and stuff <laughs> which is it's getting to that time of year that we have all kinds of vampires and we did talk about energy vampires last last uh, show and that was really good and I love the video that's on Psychic Fix's fan page. It's really, really good. I posted a lot of creepy and fun things. Um, you see Curious George playing the Ouija board? <laughs> yeah. I know. I said he's a little bit too curious. <laughs> that was me. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a lot of stuff planned. Um, uh, we just did some extra bookings. Kim Ean, a wonderful medium in San Diego, has booked two two shows with us in November where oh. all our Wednesdays, I think are booked in um, October and we kept Fridays open um, because we never know what we're going to do in October, maybe go live or maybe have Shannon on or something. Um, so we have a lot of stuff um, happening and um, what else, Andy, we, um, we are going to, uh, I think we're going to have a Halloween party. Yeah, a Halloween party on a Friday, and we'll do giveaways. How's that? I love giveaways. I'm really good at winning. Yeah. Then you've got to watch us on Fridays. <laughs> Fridays we give away gift card, and um, I I don't think I have any more. I think I have to go to Starbucks this time and get. You know what? Because tis the season, we have to give some um, some uh, gift cards out to get some kind of pumpkin spice latte thing, right? Or mm. I did pick up some things that I thought people might want to win. Do you know what these, can you even see what yes. those are? What is it. it? That's that hell money, isn't it? No. Oh. It would be. Oh, those are $2 oh. bills. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Fun. Is it legal for us to give away $2 bills? Because I'm willing, I picked up a whole bunch today, whole bunches of them <laughs> that we can give away. I thought that would be a lot of fun. I'm not going to be responsible. Once I mail it, it's <laughs> up to God to get it to you. <laughs> but I thought that'd be kind of fun if we give $2 bills away. That is so, fun. Yeah, uh, we can pick them up here really easy. Um, you go to the recycler and they'll pay you in this. So this time I, I asked Neil, I said, you haven't pay you. Yeah, half of it in this. And That's oh cool. my goodness. I think we're going to give some money away. Oh, you so, me up. I put it there. I thought, oh, I thought it'd be fun. So that or pumpkin spice something. I never had the pumpkin thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I want that. I'm all about well, I, the peppermint hot chocolate. I I have to mention this. This is probably a little down the rabbit hole, but I saw somebody had shared a meme with me and it was pumpkin spiced, um, like religious wafers I guess, <laughs> or something. I don't know. Yeah. I thought, well, oh, that's not? funny. And they're like too soon, <laughs> but I don't know. It's funny. It was like, should you have gone there? Like no, I anything, think, I, why not? anything and everything is pumpkin spice. I'm going to have a little bit of uh, chocolate chip wafer or something. All the kids will be begging for, you know. Uh, what do you, what, what, when you go to church communion, <laughs> that's like, what do you right. no, I'm not in that church, but um, we're all about love and all of that. So why not? Why not enjoy it? So, 
Oh, well, that is, that's pretty funny. Well, we try, we're going to have a lot of cartoons going on um, the Facebook page. I save them up and I, oh. I find them. They're going to start going next week. I don't want to do that too soon. Unlike I do have like a witch's lantern up and a witch behind me. And I have, you know, my Halloween stuff coming. Now, I do have a meetup on Saturday. So we're baking. We're making... Um, uh, fairy love cakes and lay, let's see, ginger ladybird tea, I think it's called something like that. And so I've been shopping for all the stuff and I got candied hibiscus flowers awesome. because the fairy asked me fairy food on top, right? And I got candied lemons, you know, with the rind even and oranges. And I can go down to Old Town. There is a store where you buy edible flowers. So we're going to have a lot of fun making all that. I got real ginger. I got all kinds of frosting. So I'm going to have um, eight people over. And we're going to bake in my little kitchen and have a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'll, I think that's about it. We'll be here um Friday, and we want you guys to be here and win $2 bill because we're big spenders here, aren't we, Andy? Only the yeah. best. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, I think we're time to go to the lobby now. What do you think? Shannon, did you want to say any last things? Well, I wanted to say any thank you. Words? Thank you oh, so much for having me on your show. This has been really fun. You're cracking me up. Oh, we're funnier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have this to tap a little, and then we'll be funnier. Right? Well, you know, you can tap on the good stuff too. If you're a law of attraction follower, ninety seconds is all you need to create that snowball of awesomeness. So if you're feeling good, tap it in. Oh my gosh, <laughs> tap Andy, it we gotta in. put that in our manifesting book. Yeah. No. Oh, oh my so god. Good for why oh am my I? Goodness. Why am I such a good winner? Why is it so easy for me to win two dollar bills? This is crazy. Every That's time. That's a good idea. Day. You can do. Can you do that, Shannon? Absolutely. It's a belief well, system that changes okay. the energetic field. Andy, because, and it's fun to do it. That's what I. I think that's what I needed to hear tonight. That was my. Well, we were just talking sleep, about but, the lottery, weren't we? Yeah. Andy? Like we have, we have a system, guys. So mm. uh, Andy has a system. And so we were just talking about this, Shannon. So it's, uh, we're all about manifesting and right. uh, we need, you know, maybe in the, uh, maybe in December, we'll do a manifesting thing again. Um, I actually do a class, but it's two hours, so we'll condense it. But um, we, that's really good. So Andy, you're going to try to uh, tap your way into winning and tap your way into being uh, lucky and yeah no if, if corner the eye under the eye no. and part of you doesn't believe that it's true then listen to that yeah but voice that comes up so there's Did the one everybody freeze am oh, i the only no. one live debbie can you hear us can you guys hear me yeah huh. i can hear you okay i'm here Shannon, Did you kick me in? no, you're you're fine on our end. I think Shannon, are you yeah, good? I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You guys froze to me. Oh. Um, oh, that was like. <laughs> okay, so you tap your way into uh, uh, winning a bunch of money, and okay. definitely as long as you believe it's true. Oh God, the faith of a mustard seed. I believe in so much everything. Everything's possible. You guys, I've seen things. Flying remotes, uh, cheese nip balls, uh, you know, a box going like this, and ghosts and everything. Come on. We can we can tap our way into some money. So um, I will, we're going to learn, Shannon. We promise. We're yeah. going to be really experts by the time we see you the next time. And do we now? And the best me. part is it's free, you guys. And it's actually, it's for our highest good, isn't it, Shannon? Absolutely. It's about remembering what we already knew before we were born on this planet. And somebody said, no, you're wrong. 
It's about unlearning yeah. the mistakes of well-meaning people in our lives and just remembering who we really are. Oh, that's awesome. It's It really does work, you guys. I've seen someone that was pretty angry um, about something and, um, and just tap it through it. And as you're doing it, just like Shannon did, you are talking about it. And I'm so stupid angry because this, that, and the other. And that really gets it out. And then finally at the end, you just, you're tapping and it's like love. It's like, oh my goodness, it's, it's so good. And you feel really good afterwards. So really, I want you guys to try it if you want to. Remember that you can come back to this video on YouTube or on the fan page and watch it over and over so that you can, if you feel like you need to practice. Give good, us your huh? thumbs up and your likes and your love. Right. All right. We're going to the lobby and we'll see you guys on Friday to win some money. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank Bye, you. Everybody. Thank you, Shannon, so Thank much. You. Shannon, stay here because you're going to the lobby.